Hello everyone. Today I am going to start very very important session that is mock interview test of aptitude. This is practice number two. In practice one we have already done ten question for mock interview test. Now let us see the practice set number two. This is the first question. Twenty five percent of four hundred is how much? We can solve this question without use of pen and paper. How twenty five percent means in mind twenty five by hundred multiply four hundred two zero of hundred and four hundred two zero cancel out. We will get what hundred percent. So our correct answer is what hundred. Okay. Now you can see that is twenty five percent twenty five by hundred into four. This cancel you will get how much four hundred. Thank you. Now see the second question. Second question is what? Eighty is what percent of two hundred? For this question, we can also solve this question by without use of paper and pen. How see? Eighty is what percent of two hundred? So we have to find percentage of eighty in comparison to two hundred. So correct answer will be what? In mind, eighty into hundred divided by two hundred. So hundred two zero two hundred two zero cancel now eighty by two that is forty so our correct answer is what forty percent okay so you can see here eighty is what so this is eighty into hundred and divided by what two hundred so this cancel you will get how much forty so forty percent is correct answer now see the third question. The third question is also very important question. If a by two equal to b by three equal to c by five, find the ratio of a b c. So we can solve this question without use of paper and pen. Direct in mind how a by two, b by three, c by five. So a ratio, b ratio, c will be what two, three, five. So two ratio, three ratio, five is correct answer. Okay. Now see. So for this type of question, what is the rule? A by two, B by three, C by five equal to K. So we have to find A ratio, B ratio. So A equal to what? Two K. B equal to what? Three K. C equal to what? Five K. So this this cancel. So our answer is two three ratio five. Now see the question number four. The fourth question is what? If A by B equal to C by D equal to E by F equal to three by five, then find A plus C plus E upon B plus D plus A. For this type of question, also we can solve this question by without use of pen and paper. How? So you see the trick. A by B, C by D, E by F. All ratios are same. Then sum of the numerator divided by sum of denominator will be the same ratio. So our correct answer will be what? A plus C plus E upon B plus D plus F equal to what? That is the three by five is the correct answer. Okay. So now you can see how. So for this type of question, simple technique. If A by B, C by D, E by F, three by five. E we will add numerator A C E or B D F. Then ratio will be the same. Like A by B, C by D, even all are equal to three by five. So our answer will be what? Three by five. Now see the question number fifth. The fifth question is also very important question. What is the value of zero point two five bar in the fraction? We can solve this question very easily without use of pen and paper. Only in mind, zero point two five. So after decimal two digit, both have a bar. So our correct answer will be what twenty five upon ninety nine because two bar so two nine. If there is a one digit have bar, then one nine. So correct answer is twenty five by ninety. Now see the question six. This question number six is also very important question. What is the value of one point three bar in the fraction? For this type of question, what is important? We can use, we can solve this question again with the without help of use paper and pen. How? So one point three bar. So one is complete, and after point there is a one digit have one bar. So our answer will be one and three by nine. 
3 by 9 is what? 1 by 3. So 1 and 1 by 3 is what? 4 by 3. So correct answer is 4 by 3. Now see how. So this is 1.3 bar. So 1 and 3 by 9. This 3, 3, 9 cancel. So 1 and 1 by 3, we can write what? 4 by 3. So this is the right answer. Now see question number 7. The question number 7 is also very important question. If any number first increased by 10% and again decreased by 10%, then find the percentage increase or decrease. Find the percentage increase or decrease in the number. For this type of question, we can again solve this question very easily without the use of paper and pen. How? So anytime there is a question ki same number of percentage increase or same number of percentage decrease, then always decrease. How much decrease? A square by 100. A is what here? 10. So 10 square by 100, that means 100 by 100. That is 1% decrease is our correct answer. Okay, now see. So this is the first increase 10. So there is a first formula is what? A square by 100. So A is what 10? So this is 10 square by 100. So this is 100 by 100 that is 1%. This is always decrease. So if same percent increase, same percent will always decrease. You can solve this question like this also. So suppose total number is 100. 10% increase, this is 100, 10 by 100. 10% 10 decrease, so this is 90 by 100. This cancel and this 2, 0 cancel. This is how much? 99. So 100 become 99. So how much decrease? 1. So that is 100 minus 99, that is 1. 1 in 100, so this is 1%. How much? Decrease. So this is our correct answer. Now see the question number 8. The question 8 is also very important question. Question 8 is what? If salary of a first increase by 3%, again decrease by 3%, Find percentage increase or decrease in the number. So same question like 7. But in 7 there was a percentage 10%, 10%. But here percent was 3%, 3%. So again we can solve this question without use of any pen and paper. Direct we can use the always decrease. Same increase, same decrease. So always decrease. How much? A square by 100. So 3 A square 9, 9 by 100. So 9 by 100 is what? 0 0.09. So our correct answer is 0 0.09 percent. So you can see here this is a square by 100. So a is 3. So 3 a square by 100. So this is 9 by 100. So this is 0 0.09. Because 2 zero, so after 2 digit decimal 0 0.09 percent is what decrease. So this is our Correct answer 0.09 percent decrease. Now see question number nine. This is the question nine. If any number is divided by 25, it gives the remainder 24. If same number is divided by it, find the new remainder. This is also very important question, and we can solve this question by without use of any pen and paper. How see? So for this type of question, first we see this is the first divisor and this is the second divisor. If second divisor, if first divisor is divisible by the second divisor, then answer is possible. If not divisible, answer is not possible. Here 25 is 25 not divisible by it. So answer is not possible. So our answer will be what? Data is inadequate. Data is inadequate or you can say no solution. No solution. Right? So data is inadequate or no solution is the correct answer. So every understood that this is the first divisor, this is second divisor. So first divisor should be divisible by 8, then we can find answer. So here it is not divisible. So our answer is data is inadequate or no solution. Now see the question number 10. This is also the very important question just like 9. If any number is divided by 18, they give the remainder 16. If same number is divided by 3, find the new remainder. Again for this type of question, we can solve without use of any paper and pen. How see? So first you see first divisor 18 and second divisor is what? 
थ्री सो डेट इज फाइव डिवाइजर इज डिविजिबल बाय सेकंड थ्री सिक्स अ एटिंग सो आंसर इज पॉसिबल नाउ व्हाट इज आवर आंसर सो डिवाइड द रिमेंडर बाय द न्यू डिवाइडर सो डिवाइड द रिमेंडर रिमेंडर इज सिक्सटीन न्यू डिवाइजर इज थ्री सो थ्री फाइव सर फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज वन सो आवर आंसर इज वन सो करेक्ट आंसर इज वन वन इज द राइट आंसर इन दिस वे वी हैव सॉल्व ऑल द टेन क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द मॉक प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट नंबर टू इन द सेम वे वी विल गो फॉर द थर्ड फोर्थ एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिस सेट सो प्लीज वॉच फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टेन एवरी क्वेश्चन थैंक यू